what Jesus said. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior this morning. Amen. Who is the head of my life. And I tell you, if anything we need to know, amen, at such a time as this, it is what Jesus said. Amen, amen. Everybody's telling everything. But ain't nobody telling what Jesus said. Come on, somebody. We got more of that in us than what the world is saying. Amen. The world will be a better place. He said, repent of your sins and be baptized. I want to talk with you just for a few minutes today. Not going to be before you long. Amen. On what the Lord gave me okay. to say to you. Okay. Amen. 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 You've already heard the scriptures that said in Psalm 9 and 1, which is my favorite scripture, personally. Uh -huh. And I'm reading now the King James Version Bible. If you have it, just stand on your feet. Because I come to tell you what Jesus said. Yeah. Amen. It says in Psalm 9 and 1, I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. Mm -hmm. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. Verse 2 says, I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O thy most high. And we turn over to Psalm 150 and 1. It say, let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord. Psalm 150 and 1. Hold one second, let me look. Got to go down here. Amen. I'm sorry, that's not what I wanted. The one that I want to read is let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord, praise ye the Lord. Psalm 50 say, praise ye the Lord, praise God in his sanctuary, praise him in the firmament of his power. Amen. And then we look, praise God, at <clears throat> Acts, the 16th chapter and the 15th verse. And when she was baptized in her household, she besought us, saying, If ye have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come into my house and abide there. And she constrained me. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we come before you now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. We ask you to forgive us, Father God, for anything that was wrote down incorrectly, God. Father, you know our hearts, Father God, and you know our intent, Father God. And Father, we ask you to forgive us, Father God, of our shortcomings, Father God. We bind the hands of the enemy, God, that's trying to play with our sight today, God. But God, your word will go forth with spirit, in the spirit of unity, Father God, in the spirit of your power and your might, God. And so, Lord, we lift you up and magnify you now, God, because you are truly worthy to be praised. So I ask you to let Elma sit down, God, and allow your Holy Spirit to come forth, God, in the name of Jesus, God. God, that we can be able to lift you up and tell nine men and women, boys and girls, that the ways of sin is death, but the gift of you is eternal life, God. So we surrender everything to you now, God. Oh, God, have your perfect way, and it's in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Bless, heal, deliver, and set free the captive. Amen. Amen. Going back to Psalm 9 and 1. Say, I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praises to thy name, O thy most high. Amen. If I was to use, amen, amen, a, a, a text today, amen, it would be your praise makes a difference. Your praise 
makes the difference. Amen. We look at this scripture. Amen. We find that David, amen, amen, is giving God some glory. Amen. For the victories that he has won. Amen. Oh, the valor of the Philistines. Uh, amen. We know, praise God, in our lifetime. Uh, amen. We're going to have some battles and we're going to have some struggles. Amen. We're going to have some ups and we're going to have some downs. Uh, amen. We're going to have some frowns and we're going to have some smiles. Uh, come on, somebody. But we still got to have a praise. Uh, amen. The praise is in the first person. It talks about myself. Uh, amen. You. Amen. As I and I as I. Amen. Got to praise the Lord. Uh, he said, I will praise thee, O Lord. Uh, let me stop right there. Uh, you got to have of your own personal praise with the Lord. Uh, you got to be able to tell God, uh, through you I'll trust you in everything. Uh, I will praise you, O oh God. Uh, see, everybody might not can have the capital L God, uh, capital O God, uh, capital R God, uh, capital D God, uh, just Jehovah God, uh, the God that righteous, the one that love and the one that sits high, the one that look low, the one that can turn the crooked way straight, the one that can speak to the winds and the waves and the waves and the winds begin to obey him. Uh, somebody said, I got to praise him, amen, with my whole heart. Uh, that means the wholeness in me, the wholeness in myself, uh, amen. Have I got anybody in here uh, that just want to praise him because he's God, uh, because he woke me up this morning uh, and started me on my way. Uh, I got a right to praise him, uh, amen. Your praise yes. makes the difference, uh, and my praise makes the difference. Uh, I don't care what I'm going through, uh, but when I begin to give God some glory, uh, it seems like everything around me uh, begin to disappear. Uh, my problems begin to get small uh, because I'm serving one that's greater. Uh, he's bigger than everything. Uh, I call him Jehovah God. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, he is the one that I'm praising today. Uh, I'm praising him in advance uh, for what he's going to do. Uh, I'm praising him for right now uh, for what he's doing right now. Uh, I praise him uh, for what he's already done. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, I got a joy for praise uh, in the Lord God Almighty. Uh, let me tell you today uh, that your praise makes a difference. Uh, I don't know what you're going through, uh, and you don't know what I'm going through. Uh, but when I learn to praise the Lord, uh, I can let go and let God. Uh, is there anybody in here or anybody up in here? up in here. Amen. Can let go and let God. Is there anybody that can tell Lord, I trust you with what I'm going through because you brought me through this and you brought me through that. Have I got anybody in here today that just want to relinquish your praise unto the Lord? Come on somebody. I will praise Meaning I'm going to praise you God I don't know what else to do But they give you glory I could be crying right about now The way I feel But when I think of the goodness Of Jesus Christ And all that he done for me Oh I wish I had two or three people That can touch and agree with me You thought about something That he did for you today to just say, Lord, I just want to thank you. You thought about something that may have just happened. And you begin to praise the Lord. It may have been you going down the highway this morning. And you could have got hit by a Mack truck. But come on, somebody. But just because of his mercy and his grace, he allowed your vehicle to stop right before the car hit you. Come on somebody. Or you hit somebody else. Ain't got enough and praise God about. You can praise him this morning because he gave you two blessed hands to clap for him. You can clap, clap, clap for Jesus Christ today. Have I got anybody? He gave you two hands. Ain't no need to fight with them today. Just clap for Jesus. Open up 
your one mouth that he gave you today and give God some glory. Come on, somebody. You can praise him today because he got the light of glory shining bright in you today. Come on, somebody. Look at somebody on your road and say, there ain't nothing going to upset me today. I'm just going to praise the Lord. If you can't praise him while I'm praising him, if I see the beginning in your way, just give me what I got to praise my God because he everything to me. When it looked like I was going to make it, God stepped in. He was my rescuer. Oh, yes, he was. And he still is. He's my strong tower. And the righteous run into him. And he'll say, if there anybody up in here that feel like I feel, and say, I will bless the Lord at all times. He'll pray. I'm talking about the praise of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. They gonna continually be in my mouth night and day. I'm gonna praise them day and night. I'm gonna praise them through my tears and trials. I gotta praise them because I understand that my praise makes a difference. There might be some. On your road that might be going through something right now that might have them so heartbroken and they don't know what to do. But when you holler out, yes, Lord, yeah, 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 yes, to your will, God, yes, to your way, something will leap up in their spirit. And so, oh, I grab hold of it. I'm gonna praise them when one can put a five thousand thousand to five, two can put ten thousand. Can I get one more just to jump on the bandwagon and praise you the Lord? Come on, somebody, clap your hands, clap your hands, oh give thanks unto him, bless his name. Come on, somebody, he's in the midst, the king. And the Lord of Lord has showed up. Well, Pastor, how you know he showed up? He showed up in me. Come on, somebody. When the enemy came in like a flood, the Lord, I said, the Lord, oh, y'all don't hear me. I said, the Lord, he lift up a standard. Oh, yes, so now I can enter into his gate with thanksgiving in his court with praise. I can be thankful unto him and bless his name. What's his name? I say, what is his name? His name is Jesus the Christ. He is my battle axe. Anybody got a battle axe? Have you got it? That cut up the test and trials of your life. Don't fool me now. Just if you ain't got an act, just say you ain't got one. But I brought mine. Come on, somebody. You better stay equipped. And amen. Know that your praying makes a difference. I will praise thee. I can't give no glory. To nobody else. The expression of my appreciation is to my God and my God alone. Come on, somebody. It makes a difference what you say to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You didn't make yourself. He did it. Come on, somebody. He said, let us make men in our own image. Have I got any witness? And so whatever come my way, I'm going to pray. I said, I'm going to pray the Lord. 
Well, I beg a child is overflowing. I'm going to praise the Lord. When it's got a negative balance, I'm still going to praise him. Because it's the Lord that gives it. And the Lord that takes it away. Bless me, the Lord. Let me just back up right there. Now, sometimes we get ourselves. In some jams. But God, with his awesome self, always find a way to get us out. I heard that song say, get me out, Jesus. And get me out now. But sometimes, he don't allow something to get out. Right then. Okay. <laughs> because as we discovered in Sunday school, yes. if you get out too quick, uh -oh. you ain't going to pray God. Oh, You're going to want to think that you did something on your own. Oh. Hey, with your little praise. Amen. Amen. With your two-minute clap. Oh. Come on, somebody. Oh. You can't even give God the glory. Oh. The love enough to let it go all the way. Oh. Up the glory. Up the glory. Up the glory. Up the glory. He Watching up the King Highway. Is your praise on the King Highway? Or have you been holding back? And say, Lord, will you get on my street? When I can hear somebody calling your name, I'm going to begin to praise you. But I'm telling you to give him the day. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. And the best praise. That's what he told me to tell you. Give me a best praise. And best thank you. A best glory be to God. A best hallelujah. Oh, pick the child for them. Have we got anybody that know how to pick them up and put them down for the Lord? Come on, somebody. See, with your whole heart, you don't mind giving God glory. Amen. Because you're withholding nothing. Come on, somebody. You don't mind. Huh? Amen. Tell him, huh? Lord, I need you every day, every hour. Huh? I thank you for just stopping by today, God. Huh? If you don't stay long, huh? I just thank you for the time huh? that you stop by, God. Huh? I thank you, God, huh? that you ain't going to spend all the time with me huh? because your spirit don't dwell huh? with me always. Huh? Come on, somebody. I thank you that you have no respectable person. I tell you, my praise makes a difference when you praise God and don't hold nothing back. He will change his mind about your situation. Come on, somebody. The mind of God moves in mysterious ways. Come on, somebody. We find David was praising the Lord had been victorious huh, on the, uh, uh, the, the Philistines. Huh. Come on, somebody. Hey, they hey, been the king. Huh. Hey, Amen. Over part of you. Huh. And they didn't bother. Huh. May I suggest to you huh, that when you advance it, huh, amen, and doing more responsibility, somebody gonna get mad with you. Huh. Do you know that? Huh. They might say they're your friend, huh. but you are telling them a little while huh, whether they're your friend or not, huh? because your friend huh? will celebrate with you, huh? but when you start gaining, huh? look at somebody say, I'm gaining, huh? I'm gaining a little bit more, huh? each and every day, huh? I'm climbing, huh? Jacob ladder, huh? I'm home with Bob, huh? come on somebody, huh? he's enlarging huh? my territory, huh? come on somebody, huh? David was the apple, of God's eye. Come on, somebody. And when you look at 2 Samuel chapter 5, about verse 20, come on, somebody. Verse 17, it said, when the Philistines heard that he, that they had anointed David, king over Israel, all the fam, all the Philistines came up to seek David, and David heard of it. The news would get back to you uh, quick fast in a hurry uh, come on somebody uh, and they went down uh, in the stronghold uh, if you look at the word uh, the stronghold uh, 
You call the duel. Come on, somebody. And the Philistines, Philistine came and spread themselves in the valley of Raham. Amen. They spread it all out. Made it look like there was a great army. But your praise makes a difference. Your trust in God is all that's needed in such a time as this. Have I got any praise in the house? But look at here. No matter how they spread, your trouble is all around you. Whether it be sickness, whether it be financial, marital, free and emotions, hallelujah, sickness, whatever it may be, they're spreading all around you. But I said, listen to you today. If you just take it to the Lord in prayer and say that David inquired of the Lord. Lord, you know all about what I'm going through right now. But I got one question just to ask you. I done gave you my praise. Come on, somebody. That's why I said when there's a praise in the temple, if there's a praise in your temple, your praise makes the difference. Come on, somebody. Don't wait for nobody else to clap, clap, clap. Come on, somebody. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye learn, serve him with gladness. Come before him with thanksgiving. Lord, I'm glad about it. Oh, yes, I am. But I know you give perfect directions. And I know you're going to give me the answer if I just, just, just seek your faith. If I just, just, just be obedient to me, to you, God, you got the answer. Yes. So, God, should I go up to the Philistines? Well. But if I go now, uh -huh. you can't go now unless God give you the command. Yeah. He said, will thou deliver them into my hands? Uh -huh. Oh, my God. That's a good question to ask. A lot of people go, don't ask God nothing. Just uh -huh. go. Just yeah. go. You going on your own. Look at somebody next to you and say, baby, you going on your own. Baby, you going on your own. Look at a devil and say, baby, you going on your own. Baby, you going on your own. I advise you to ask God. Amen. And so he said, the Lord said unto David, Go up. There's a colon right there. Yeah. Meaning that it's for sure. Amen. Stop right there. Think about that. Amen. But there's something else. Huh? Amen. Amen. I need to tell you. Huh? He said, Go up. Huh? For I will doubtless deliver the Philistines huh? in thy hand. Huh? Look here, David. Huh? Go on down there huh? and wipe the boys out. Because huh? I for surely huh? have given you. The way to defeat them when God lets you know your enemy have been defeated. Oh, you got a praise right there. Come on, somebody. It ought to be a praise right, right there. Especially when he told you you're gonna defeat the enemy or sickness. Can I just speak about that for a few minutes? You got many things looking in the world today because all the sin all around you. Ain't nobody, I said nobody, that you can call on when you're going through. But Jesus, the Christ, you tried going to the doctor and the doctor said, well, let me think about this for a few minutes. But I hear God telling David, go on, come on son. Get on up out of this camp. Take a few men you got and just go. Look at your neighbors. I'm going in the house. For I will doubtless. You ain't got to worry about that, David. 
I got you. Uh, ain't no good thing when God tell you he got you. Uh, come on, somebody. <laughs> and I'm going to deliver you out of them Philistines' hands. Uh, you know them Philistines were big giants. Uh, come on, somebody. Your trouble look somebody. Uh, amen. Your trouble look real big sometimes. Uh, amen. They're about to swell up your head. Uh, amen. You have worried yourself so much. Uh, amen. You don't know what to do. Uh, but I'm going to tell you to do like David did. Uh, David inquired of the Lord uh, and he waited for God uh, to give him an answer. Uh, God didn't say wait. Uh, whoa. Uh, just stay right here. Uh, but God told him to go. Uh, I'm going. Uh, if I have to go by myself. Uh, why? Uh, because my praise uh, and my obedience to God uh, makes a difference. Uh, have I got anybody here? Uh, amen. Is in the army. Oh, David. Amen. He fought the Goliath. And many said, You can't beat that giant. But look that devil straight in the eye and said, I came in the name of the Lord. Come on, somebody. Your weapons of warfare are not carnal to the pulling down. Pull them rascals down. In the name of Jesus, pull them strong. Hold down. You get ready to go in the enemy's camp. They may be down in the bottom, but baby, you going down in the bottom when you go home not by yourself. In the name of Jesus, you are going with Jesus. The Christ. Come on, somebody. He said, No, I'm with you. Oh, wait. Come on, somebody. That me for ever, 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 ever. Have I got anybody on that road over here that she said forever? And the Lord said, that's enough right there. Today, now make sure you get the name right. That could be somebody else out there. In the midst. But when he called out your name with assurance, you know that he talking to you. Right. Many people go, don't even wait to see what name God gonna call. And they just go, go, go. Have I got a witness here today? But he said, you go on up there, boy. And I am doubtless. Amen, amen. You can count on God. Look at your name and say, you can count on God. No matter what's going through and what's going on, you can count on the God I serve. Why? Because he is. What he is, he who he said he is, he said I am that I am. All you gotta do is have faith in God and go on up to that problem and look that situation dead in the eye and say, God said, and if God said it, I can believe it. And David came to Bel Perion. And David smote them there and said, The Lord has broken forth upon my enemies uh -huh. before me as the breach of the water. At the breach, at the breach, that's where God met him at, right there, right there, where he need him at the most. When your strength give out and you ain't got no strength to go on, God will meet you right at that point. Amen, right there, right there. Amen, when you need God, he is right there. I said he right there. Have I got anybody that know he is right there? Amen, he right there at your breakthrough point. Come on, somebody. As your breakthrough and begin to come forth, God is right there, right there. He's, I'm going to pull you on the cross. Oh, come on, somebody. And the Philistines got whooped. But your enemy goes away for a season. And then he, he comes right back. Don't think you have escaped the enemy because you are saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled. His job is to keep coming back, hoping that he's going to catch you with your pants down. Amen. Your praise down. Amen. Your thank you, Jesus. Your hallelujah down. And he's going to catch you with your mind on yourself and your situation and ain't giving God no glory. And what's going to happen is he's going to defeat you. 
But he said, I will be glad and rejoice in thee. Uh, come on, somebody. I will sing praises to thy name, O thy most high. Uh, ain't nobody, can't nobody get higher than God. Uh, is there anybody you know uh, that's higher than God? Uh, he is the great I am. Uh, hallelujah. I'm serving a true uh, and a living God. Uh, is there anybody here besides me uh, that's serving a true and a living God? Don't fool and now you're serving him? Yes. Amen. So your enemy uh -huh. is going to come back to the same place that left you in. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Verse 22 says, And the Philistine came up yet again and spread at them in that same valley. Mm. Come on, somebody. And when David, verse 23, inquired of the Lord, he said, Thou shalt not go up. Come on, somebody. See, the first time he told him to go up. But now God is trying to teach you another lesson. Now, come on, somebody. Say, I got another lesson to learn here. I got another lesson. I got another lesson. God is trying to teach me. See, God is not going to let your enemy think you're going the same way every time. You got to understand how to get around that bad boy. You got to understand that you got to move by God's power and God's direction. He said, wait a minute. Wait a minute, David. Wait a minute. But fetch a compass behind them. Well, 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 if you don't know how to read a compass, the compass ain't going to do you no good. But if you trust in the Lord and you just obey what he said, he didn't tell David, amen, to read a compass. He told him to fetch a compass behind him. Well. Come on, somebody. That means you got to figure out, huh? amen, amen. Circle around them, boy. Circle around them. Get around the enemy. Go on the back side of that enemy. Come on, somebody. Go the way he ain't expecting you to go. He always waiting for you to come in the front door. It wasn't why you got to come in the side door. Amen. I tell everybody, don't take the same road home every day. All right. He said, go around them. I got a trick for them today. They think they, they're going to defeat you because they're looking at you. Sometimes the enemy don't know which way you're coming. Amen. If you've been led by the Lord. He said, and let it be when thou hearest the sound of a going in the top of the mulberry trees. Come on, somebody. There's some wind right there. Huh? Come on, somebody. Then that thou shalt disturb thyself. Huh? Amen. That you ought to move quickly. Huh? When you see the bird bush, bird bush trees blowing. Huh? Amen. Because I'm in the bushes. Huh? Come on, somebody. Huh? For they shall, then shall the Lord huh? go out before thee. Huh? Come on, somebody. Huh? That's why you don't need no armor huh? for the back. Huh? He said, I'm going before thee huh? to smite the enemies, huh? the host of the Philistines. Huh? Your enemy me. God is already defeated. But it didn't say you didn't have to go to battle. You better battle yourself up. The devil don't care nothing about your whipping my voice. Don't bother me today, devil. I'm tired today, devil. Come back another day. That's when that devil gonna eat you up. You better look at that devil square in the face and say, no, not today. I woke up Saturday morning. Amen. Couldn't even hardly breathe. Amen. I was choking, choking, choking. Like the devil was trying to take all the breath out of me. But I began to give God saying, you got power to lay hands on yourself. Hallelujah. You got power to speak life instead of death. Ain't spoken it. So why you gonna let the enemy come and try to fool you today? You got a lot to do today. I begin to lay down and call on the name of Jesus. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. You are my shepherd. I shall not want your son, Jesus Christ. Bless up and die. Took every one of my burdens and all my sickness uh, to the cross uh, and he bled uh, hallelujah uh, 
that I might be free. So in the name of Jesus, I'm getting ready to rise up. You got to rise up above every situation right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Yeah. Don't wait till tomorrow. Amen. Tomorrow could be too late. Too late. Your praise make a difference. Yes. It's saying thank you for every aspect of his divine nature. Amen. Our inward attitude become our outward expression. See, when you begin to thank God, you ain't gonna worry about your hair. You ain't gonna worry about your makeup. You ain't gonna worry about your clothes. All you want to do is get in the presence of Almighty God. Because I found out when I'm in his presence, I got fullness of joy. Ain't nothing left. Ain't nothing wanted. Everything is complete. And I I'm trusting in him. I'm leaning on his ever lasting arm because my praise make a difference. Have I got anybody in here that can just wave your head and say, I declare today by the blood of Jesus Christ, my praise going to make a difference. I got a new praise. I got a new attitude. I'm going to lift up holy hands. Don't move it now. If your hands are holy, keep them down. Keep them down. Keep them down. But if they're holy, lift them up high. Let the Lord see you wave your battle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise, praise. It's a theme that's spread throughout the whole Bible. Come on, somebody. The book of Exodus. 15 and 1 said, Then... St. Moses and the children of Israel, they sang unto the Lord and spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he has tri triumphed gloriously. The horses and the riders he has thrown into the sea. Amen. When your troubles and your trials that were behind you and, and your sickness were before you and your bank account on zero were before you and you were looking at trying to cross, amen, over to the other side. But God said, I'm going to separate. <coughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to separate the Red Sea right now. I'm going to sit in a wind and go blow your situation. And not only that, I'm going to blow your mind. Amen. And the horses. It doesn't mean that your situation ain't going to come to you. They're going to still keep coming. Because that's all the sense they got. But once you get over huh, to the other side, yeah. huh, hallelujah, the hedge of protection, huh, the water going to drown them horses and them riders, huh, amen, in the sea. Come on, somebody. David said, you, I mean, Moses said, you ain't going to never see these never, no more. Never. Amen. Exodus 18 and 10, and Jephro said, blessed be the Lord, Jehovah, who has delivered mm -hmm. me, rescued you out of the hand of of the Egyptian. He rescued you from the power of the Egyptian and out of the hands of Pharaoh who had delivered the people from other Egyptians. The Egyptians won't nobody but God. Nobody won't nobody but God. And when you get the real praise of him, you can look at Psalm 144 and 15 say, happy mean blessed. Uh -huh. Is that people that is in such a case, amen, as you and I, yay, happy, is that person who God is the Lord. You got something to praise him for right there. Come on, somebody. You can praise him because he is your God. Come on, somebody. And then Psalm 32 and 12 say, blessed is the nation who God is the Lord and the people whom he chosen for his own inheritance. You've been chosen with purpose today. Uh, if you had accepted Jesus Christ uh, as your Lord and Savior, uh, and if you ain't just wait on him, uh, he coming down your street uh, uh, real fast. Uh, let me tell you why. Uh, because time is winding up. Uh, oh, yes it is. Yes it is. Yes it is. Uh, trouble on every hand. Uh, Pearl is time we're living in. Uh, evil on every side. Uh, but he said and soon and very soon uh, you're going to hear him say, uh, 
come up here to uh, come on somebody. Uh, but if you wait it out uh, with the Philistines, uh, with all the armor uh, and all the breastplate uh, and all them nails uh, of your situation, uh, gonna keep your nails uh, down here on earth, uh, and you won't be able uh, to meet them up in the air. Uh, have I got anybody in here uh, that want to meet them in the air? Uh, I'm going. Uh, I'm going, I'm going where the wind don't blow no more. I'm going over yonder where Jesus is. I'm going, I want to see Jesus. I want to see him face to face. I want to be just like doing the most work. Come on, somebody. I want to see the nail print. I know my mother might be there, but in my prayer, going to make a difference. When I see Jesus, I want to hear him say, Amen. Come on, somebody. You've been faithful over a few things. I'm going to make the room over many. I want to see your nail scarred hands. Oh, yes, I do. I want to see the prince of the nail in his feet. Oh, yes, I do. I want to see, hallelujah, where the Roman soldier pierced him in the side. And I came, blood and water. He might be there to be a testament to me, to say, sure. This is the son of the living God, the most high God. This by your prayer, gonna make a difference. If you can praise him down here, surely, 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 you can praise him when you get the glory. Is there anybody in here beside me looking forward to the day? I know you're going through down here. But all my work, all of my work, is gonna be left behind. Come on, somebody. Everything I obtained in this life, I'm gonna leave it here. But oh, that glorified body that he got waiting on me. Oh, yes, oh, yeah. That's why I'm gonna praise him. So when I get to heaven, it don't make no difference if they praise him. 247, I got a praise that gonna make a difference. Somebody shout glory. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. I want to hear my Savior. I want to hear him say, well done. The one that been given to write to open the book of life. Come on, somebody. The one that been given power over death and the grave. Come on, somebody. I want to see Jesus and hear his clarion call. Oh, yes, I ain't going to be left behind. That why I've learned how to zip my lip. I ain't going to get caught up in all the snares and tangles of this world. I'm learned and I'm learning to be silent. I ain't got to comment on everything because I know God said, go up. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Today, you can get up we can hear him say, come up here. Yeah. You've been chosen. You are protected people. You are special people. You are particular people. You've been set aside. You've been sanctified unto him. He is the blessed part with favor. Somebody say you can praise God right here, right here, up above, over, over, beyond all the rest, above the rest, all above everything else. You've been pulled out. Amen. You've been sniffed it out. Amen. You've been sorted out. Come on, somebody. You've been chosen out of all the people that are upon the face of the earth. Come on here. Put a praise on it. You got favor above all who are on the face of this world. Why? Because he pulled you out. Everybody can't stand your brothers. Come on, somebody. You ought to be glad about it. Amen. Amen. That's why everyone got to have their own That's right. Amen. personal praise. Yes. 
your own personal and stored, your own perfect and personal magnifying God Amen. to make him bigger. That's why I will praise thee, O oh Lord, oh Lord, with my whole heart. I will show forth all thy marvelous works yeah. in me. Amen. I can't tell you everything, but I can tell you what he did for me. And I refuse a lot of the enemy to take anything from me that God has given unto me. And you ought to be the same way. He gave you more than life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. He said, I'm going away. I'm a prayer place for you. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness is here on earth. Go all roll away one day. But God is to be praised for his goodness. Psalm 33 and 1, I'm closing. Say, rejoice in the Lord, all righteous, for praise is coming to the upright. You got to sing for joy. You are the Lord's people. Obey him and celebrate. He deserves your praise. Praise him for his power. You know he got power. If he could pull us out of the sin, sick, martyr, clay that we were in, he got power. Because it hadn't been left to us, we would have still been back there doing our would do with our old sins. And God said, let there be. And it was. Amen. Come on, somebody. That's why we can give God the glory. Amen. He set forth his son. His son gave his life. And bought us as a ransom back to our Lord and Savior. Come on, somebody. Amen. God is God. <laughs> He's the one that sent him down through 40 and two generations. Yes, he did. And he's the one that still raised him up out of the dead. Can't nobody. nobody. I don't care who they are. Nobody. Do you like Jesus? Amen. Can't nobody. Nobody. Do you like the Lord? That's why your praise make a difference. Because what he did for me may not be in all that he done for you. But one thing he did from all of us, he saved us. Yeah, Bought us back. Yes, he did. Yeah. The price was so high. Uh -huh. Come on, somebody. We had all the money in the world. Couldn't have paid it. Right. Why? Because it ain't for sale. Yeah. Some people sell out for anything. Yeah. But our God yeah. and our salvation were bought with a price. Come on, somebody. And I'm so glad about it. I can't tell you who going in and who coming out. That's right. All I know that I know the one that knows everything. And he holds us in the hollow of his hand. Yeah. Am I right about it? Right. I know I am. I can say that for myself. I'm yeah. right about this. Yeah, sure. And in conclusion, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from our own iniquities, all and more of grossly unfair behavior, wickedness, evilness, sin, transgression, and purity unto himself, a peculiar people jealous of good work. Come on, somebody. Churches can't get along, folks can't get along, but how about we get along so we can see Jesus Amen. one day. He coming back. Yes, he, he rose up with all power. Yeah. And when he speak that clarion call, everybody that's looking for him going to hear him. Right. Come on. If you ain't looking for him, don't clean out the wax out your ear. Just keep it done. Keep it done. Keep it done. But if you're looking for him, Surely he's looking for you. Yes. Come on and clap your hands for Jesus. Your praise. 
makes a difference. I think I'll preach that again. I think I'll preach that again. Church is going through so much now. But our praise makes a difference. Families going through so much. But our praise makes a difference. Children going through so much. But our praise makes a difference. Husband and wives going through so much, but our praise makes a difference. Jobs are going through so much, but our praise makes a difference. So praise you the Lord with your whole heart. Lift up your hands to Jesus and cry out with a clarion cry, Lord, I thank you. That my praise makes the difference. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Somebody ought to get happy right there, right there, right there, right there. If you were sick in your body, he just healed you. You ought to have a glory. Hallelujah. Shout. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is God. And besides him, there he is no other. Come on, come on. If you have a desire today. Amen. Everybody here has given their life to the Lord. But if you have a desire that you need prayer today, come to Jesus just as you are. And he will do a miraculous in you. Just have faith as you are. God will.